Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. In this video I'm playing the game called Warhammer Online The Return of Reckoning and I'm filming this in 2017. I want to go over in this particular video an add-on it's going to just be a basic guide of how to actually get this going. It's an add-on that's actually in the game that's called Nerf Buttons. Now, the first part of this video, I'm just going to go over a little bit of controversy about this add-on, and then we'll move on to actually setting this up for your basic installment. Now, I understand that there's players in this game. I see it in chats. I see it on forums and, and things of that nature that actually thinks that this game is pretty much of an exploit or a cheat. And to be frank with you, I don't think it's a cheat at all. Uh, to me, it reminds me basically of using macros in World of Warcraft. And all your top players in World of Warcraft use, uses macros. The, if you join a guild at raids, they recommend that you have certain macros or add-ons to actually partake in those events. So, I mean, they don't work like macros do as far as writing in them or whatnot, but basically... The best way I could say it is that it sets up a sequence. It sets up a keyboard sequence. Not all players are really good on the keyboard. I'm one of them. I'm not the greatest keyboard player. I find other ways around it to make me competitive, and I take it from there. Now, Nerf Buttons does not manipulate the, your skills whatsoever, as far as I know. And I've talked to many pro players that's been playing this game ever since live, and they told me absolutely not. But there's also other players that feel like that it can. But I don't see it. So basically, like I said, it's put in... If you don't want to have a zillion friggin' abilities on your bars, you, it also opens up bar space too because they don't actually necessarily have to be on your bars for this to work. And it also makes it where um, you don't have to press five different keys or 10 different keys or 20 different keys so right now i just started this tune so i don't have too many skills right now i only have these two really that are attackable skills so i'm just going to be making a sequence with these two okay so let's get this thing set up this is the basic setup for nerf buttons now the first thing you want to do now, if you look down at my hotbars, you're going to see that the F1 space now is now empty. I cleared that. And uh, there's a reason for it. We'll see in a couple of minutes. So anyways, the first thing you want to do is, uh, let's see, is actually enable this nerf button. So we want to go to user settings or press the U key. Go over to interface tab. And then in the middle here, there's a button called Mod Slash Add-ons. Simply cl uh, click on that. And now, these are all the add-ons that come already uh, by the game. They're already in the game. And all you have to do to enable them, if you want to use them, is just click on that add-on and check off this box where it says Enabled. And then hit Apply at the bottom. And that's going to turn those on. And as we could see... There's nerf buttons. So the game supplies nerf buttons, guys. It's not an exploit. <laughs> Basic. Okay? So again, let's check on enable and hit apply. And now it's on. Now we close out of here. Now we're going to notice if you look up to the top right where my mini map is, we're going to see this big icon right here or this button. And that's nerf buttons. We're going to now click on that. And this is basically what it looks like. Now, I have an older version of Nerf Buttons, but it's working, so I'm not going to mess with it. You may have a newer version, or if you download a, new, uh, a newer add-on, Nerf Buttons. Yours may look a little bit different. Like over here, for instance, I have where my cursor is, it says Add Check and Remove Selected Check. On some of them, there's an, it actually shows here, mine's invisible. Some of the newer versions, they actually show or they have a button there that you, could act, that you could actually see. But like I said, mine is invisible. So now what we want to do is we want to open up by hitting the V key or going up here and clicking on Abilities. 
this is where all of our different skills are. Now, I don't have too many skills on this guy because I just made him. So he's a level one. Now, basically, all you, all you want to do, I want to put an axe toss. I want to put in the same that's down on my two hot bars here. So I'm going to put an axe toss. And then in the next box is going to appear, I'm going to put in this one called hack by just sliding them over. And it's going to keep growing and adding. You just have to, you know, as you learn more skills and you want to put them in that sequence, you could always go back later on and add them. I think it holds up to six or eight, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, now once we've done that, we could close the ability menu. And then now we could click on each one of these and they're going to flash to where they're flashing like that. So we're going to click on the first one. I'm going to go to this add-on drop-down box and highlight nerf buttons. Then we're going to go down to sequence. Well, right now that's not going to do anything. We're going to go down here to where add check is. I'm going to click on that. And then here is a list of different options that you can use for that ability. Now, like I said, this is not an exploit as far as I know. I have not gone through all these different settings, but I can't see anything in the game being able to adjust or manipulate those skills. For now, I'm just going to pick something basic because this is just a basic guide. And I'm just going to go down and put it on effect. Once you've done that, you want to hit this plus button next to it, and that's going to lock it in. So you want to make sure you do that. Once you've done that, now you can click right on where it says effect. And it's going to open up the screen to the right. And this is where you could kind of just kind of like tweak it out. You know, adjust it or whatnot. I pretty much leave it the way it is right now. I haven't learned too much about this yet. Once I do, I'll come out with a more advanced video. Now we're going to go to this one right here. Hack. We're going to click on that. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to add check. Hit that. And then, well, wait a minute. Let's see here. Add check. That's it. Drop it down and go to effect. Now, you might not have to do this step if you just want a basic setup. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go over and hit the save button. Now, whenever I use the name, you know, with actual letters or whatnot, it seems like it, did, it didn't save it. So I'm going to try it now, and let's see if we could get it to save. So I'm just going to type in something like attack. For add-on, you want to go down to Nerf buttons, hit create, and now let me see... Let me see now, once I do this, if it saved it. I doubt it because it, it didn't ask me to put in a sequence. All right. So really fast, we're going to do it again. Abilities, Axe Toss, Hack. I'm just going to go right down, Add-on, Nerf Buttons, Sequence. Uh, no, that's not right. Add check. I'm actually just going to try to keep these. I'm actually not going to use these. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to type in the number one. It seems like if you put in numbers, it saves it. Go down to Nerf buttons again. Hit create. And now we should be good. Now, if I close this. And we go down here to where it says F1 in my hotbar. We now notice that it's filled. That's that sequence of the two abilities I just made. Now we're going to go back to the icon, Nerf buttons, open it up. And we're going to see if, see if it saved it by loading it. So we're going to go back down to Nerf buttons. Sequence, there's the number one. We're going to hit load, and there we are. And that's basically it, folks for a basic setup. Now let's go out and get into a fight and I'll show you how it works. So let's see here. All right. 
Oop. Okay, there's our axe toss. Now you're gonna see when they come and come uh, into close combat quarters on a melee, the icon automatically changes on F1. It automatically changes to if they're close enough or whatnot. So again, we're gonna hit the F1 again, get him close enough. And there we go. So we could see that it's definitely working. And that's your basic setup, folks, of using Nerf buttons for Warhammer Online. Feel free to sub up, comment down below, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care. I hope this helps. Bye-bye.